In this question, we're told the triangle ABC is such that AB is 19 centimetres, AC is 12 centimetres, and angle ABC is 25 degrees. Well, the first thing to do when starting this question is to draw myself a triangle. I'm going to label the three corners A, B, and C. It doesn't matter how we do this, it's just a sketch to visually represent the information we're given in the question and help us understand it a little bit better. We told the length AB is 19 centimetres, so we can label that side 19 centimetres. AC is 12 centimetres, so I can label that side 12 centimetres. And the angle ABC is 25 degrees. So there's the angle ABC. Now, if I just quickly label each side with a small letter, and then start part A. It says find the possible values of angle ACB. So angle ACB is this angle down here, and it says to give our answer to the nearest degree. So looking at this, I've got a choice between a sine and a cosine rule, and I need to identify which one is the most appropriate. And so the way I do this is I think, well, I want to use the sine rule wherever possible, because it's far simpler than the cosine rule. And the, what, what I need to be able to use the sine rule is an angle side pairing, like I've got here with angle B and side B. So I'm looking to find an angle. So the format of the sine rule that I'm going to use is sine C over C equals sine B over B. Remember, it's perfectly acceptable to manipulate it to the form that you need, as long as signs are all on the top or signs are all on the bottom and the angles and sides pair up in each fraction. So substituting in our values, I get sine of C, which is the angle I'm trying to find, over 19 equals sine of B, which is 25 degrees, over 12. So I'm going to rearrange, I'm going to times both sides by 19. So I get sine of C equals sine 25. Uh, and so it's multiplied by 19, so 19 sine 25, all over 12. And then I'm going to take inverse sine of both sides so that we get the angle C. So if I now calculate the angle C on my calculator, I should get an answer of 42 degrees to the nearest degree. Now it says to find the possible values of angle ACB. So there is another possible value. In order to find this, I need to use a cast diagram. So I'm going to quickly sketch myself a cast diagram, C-A-S-T. And what I'm going to do, because this is sine, I'm going to measure 42 degrees into the sine quadrant. So there's my 42 degrees. And so the angle pairing that I want, so from the principal solution, will be 180 minus 42 which equals 138 degrees. So the possible solutions for A, C, B e are 42 degrees and 138 degrees. Okay, so let's look at part B. Part B says, given that the angle BAC is acute, find the size of BAC. Now, if we go back to our diagram, we now know angle BAC, this angle down here, that's acute. So that means that this angle ACB must be obtuse. So at this point, we must say that we know ABC. That was the angle that was given to us, which was 25 degrees. The angle ACB must be our obtuse angle. So that's 138 degrees. And then so angle BAC, we're just going to use angles in a triangle, so we're going to do 180 minus 25 minus 138. So we get 180 minus 163 gives me 17 degrees. Now I can go back and I can label this on the, these all on the diagram. So I've got 138 and I've got 17 degrees. Great, so let's look at the part, last part of the question. It says, now find the area of the triangle ABC, giving your answer correct to two decimal places. So if we look at the triangle, it's not a right angle triangle. We're going to have to use the sine version of the area of a triangle. So that's going to be a half AB sine C 
or some rearrangement of it. Now what we need to know is we need to know two sides for that triangle. So the only two sides I know are 12 and 19. So I'm going to do a half times 12 times 19. And I'm going to sign off the angle between them. So what we're going to be using, area equals a half BC sine A, which is a half times 12 times 19 times sine of 17 degrees. And so if you type that all into your calculator and calculate that in one go, you should find you get an answer of 33.33 centimetres squared to two decimal places. Okay, so let's have a look and see how we mark this question then. So going back to part A, starting off, there is a method mark for correctly identifying the use and using the sign rule. Uh, there is then an answer mark if you've got both values of the possible values for C. If we go on to part B, part B gives you a method mark for using angles in a triangle at up to 180 and an answer mark for getting that the angle for BAC is 17 degrees. And then finally, there is a method mark for using the area of a triangle is a half BC sine A and an answer mark if you've got an area of 33.33 centimetres squared. Okay, well I hope the solution made sense and that you were able to follow how to mark it.